Howdy y'all, it's General Heat here. How's everyone doing today? So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a, a pretty cool glitch that you can do that lets you view uh, Halo 2's old classic cutscenes, but in remastered graphics. And what I mean by remastered graphics is not the blur cutscenes, the, you know, the Halo 2 anniversary cutscenes that are new and everything, the fancy <laughs> uh, CGI ones. Uh, I mean like actual like real-time cutscenes, but in, you know, just the new graphics. Everything's the exact same as the classic cutscenes, but the graphics are just updated to the anniversary graphics that you see in gameplay. So it's not like a pre-rendered cutscene, it's all real-time graphics. So to do this, first of all, you have to be on an original Xbox One. And I think you can do it on an Xbox One S as well. I'm not sure about the S because I don't have one to test with. But if you do have an Xbox One S out there and, and you try this out and it works, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments and I'll probably pin your comment uh, so people uh, will know that it works for the Xbox One S. But it does not work on the Xbox One X, just so you know. Now, all you have to do is just load up whatever cutscene you want to view and that's it. Um, but the most important thing is that once it starts up, you want to switch to classic graphics, or you can start up directly in classic graphics, and then pause it immediately by pressing your guide button, so that it brings up the guide and it pauses the game in the background while in classic graphics. So we'll get that in a second. But now you, this may seem familiar to some people because there used to be an older glitch that lets you like view entire segments of cutscenes classic cutscenes and anniversary graphics, but that glitch doesn't really work anymore. I think it's been patched. So this is the only way to do it now. So like I said, switch to classic graphics and then pause by pressing your guide button on your controller. And that'll bring this up and it will stay paused. So from this point on, just let it sit. Let it sit until the cutscene is actually over. Now, it may be hard to tell when the cutscene is over because you, you have to like guess how long it is or just time it or something. Safe bet would be, a safe bet would be just to wait a few minutes, uh, and it should be over with. But once it's done, you can unpause and then switch back to anniversary graphics by pressing the back button on your controller. Now, all you'll see is a black screen, but that's okay. Once you're on a black screen, just pause again by pressing the guide button, and you will see uh, a single frame of the anniversary of the classic cutscene, but with the anniversary graphics in the background. So that's basically. It's a lot more limited compared to the original glitch that this worked on. The original glitch, you could, you know, you don't have to, you don't have to keep pausing or anything. It would just work all the way through. You could see entire segments, but it only worked for a few cutscenes. Um, I think like three or four cutscenes actually let you um, view the old cutscenes and anniversary graphics, and only certain segments of it too. This one. It's frame by frame, uh, as long as you keep pausing and unpausing. When you unpause, it'll become black screen again, but the cutscene is still going on. You just gotta keep pausing, and then every time you pause, you see more of it in anniversary graphics in the background. Uh, and it, you know, it works for any cutscene, even like the intro cutscene. Uh, and, and it doesn't have to be like a starting cutscene too, it could be like one later in the mission as well. All you gotta do is just like pause in classic graphics and let the anniversary, the anniversary cutscene will keep playing. So you just gotta let it finish. And then at that point, when you switch to anniversary graphics, it's all black screen, like I said. And then all you gotta do is just keep pausing and unpausing, and then you'll get a frame of the classic cutscene rendered in anniversary graphics. So unfortunately, this is the only way that you can view it now, but at least the plus side compared to the old method is that you can view any cutscene now in anniversary graphics. So I did a few cutscenes uh, before making this video and I, I took a few stills of like the best moments because uh, shortly after you unpause, there's like one frame where like it's pretty clear. You can still see some of the pause menu in certain frames, but um, you can actually get a pretty clear view of the classic cutscene and remastered graphics. So, I uh, like I said, I did a few missions, a uh, few cutscenes, and I took a bunch of screenshots. I think like 32 or like maybe 39 screenshots total. Uh, so I'm just gonna basically like run through them now and show you guys some of the um, best uh, screenshots I took. It's only a few missions, but if you guys are really interested, uh, I could probably maybe do some more cutscenes. If there's any specific cutscene you want me to, to try or any moment in Halo 2's story or in your cutscenes that you want to see in anniversary graphics. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty buggy because um, not a lot of the stuff was 
it wasn't designed to actually run in remastered graphics with the classic cutscenes. So there's a lot, a lot of missing uh, textures and stuff like that. But um, you know, if you guys want to try to take a look at some other scenes or specific moments, I can uh, I can definitely do that and you know, take a crack at it and then maybe uh, post a few screenshots here and there. Maybe do like another video or a slideshow of um, the best moments in anniversary graphics. But you know, up to you guys if you guys are interested. But for now, I just you know a few a selection of a few uh, missions here and there. Um, there's a, there's some things that work pretty well. Some missions definitely work better than others, uh, especially if that mission, like during the cutscene, actually also exists in gameplay elsewhere. Then it's it'll be like a more complete cutscene. But other ones, you know, it may it may not be as good. Like this is the grave mine cutscene here. The entire room is missing, and you could see like the uh, the high charity skybox, and it actually looks cool this way. Um, but it's quite different. And grave mine's tentacles are all untextured as well. And grave mine himself is also missing. Um, but it's because you never see him in, in gameplay, and because he's in gameplay, they never made like anniversary textures for him. So that's why he's like that. Um, actually, that's why he's missing. There's no, there's no model for him um, in anniversary, or no, no textures. I mean, my bad. But yeah, so here's a few other scenes. Prophet of Truth kind of looks creepy, actually, like that. No, not Prophet of Truth. Prophet of uh, Regret. My bad. Uh, but it looks kind of creepy in that way. Here's another cutscene on um, Sacred Icon, I believe. Oh no, no, it's the same Gravemind cutscene, but because it's on high charity and the room exists in gameplay, uh, that's why it's a lot more complete. But there's still a few other things that are kind of like missing or um, untextured. But overall, uh, it's, it's a pretty cool glitch and you can see a lot of cool moments like this. Because in the blur cutscenes, uh, they change a lot of stuff, you know, angles, everything are changed. It's all pre-rendered and stuff. But here, you can actually see um, stuff like this, uh, what it looks like originally, like a pure remastered upgrade. And, you know, you can, always, you can also like use glitches to mess with the cutscenes, and then that will also be, you know, in the remastered graphics too, in the cutscenes, depending on the glitch you do. But yeah, so hopefully you guys did find this to be interesting, and if you did, make sure to leave a like, uh, leave a thousand comments. Like I said, if you want to check out more cutscenes, just let me know, and I'll you know, probably try to get around to it sometime. But uh, other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!